Good morning, this is Dawn, back from my walk this morning with the dog, which was quite the adventure. So I was reflecting a bit, oh, it's cold out here. I was reflecting a bit on the fact that uh, the only phrase that I've mastered in French is je ne comprends pas, which I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but it is, I don't understand you. <laughs> And I was reflecting a bit. I, what happened was, is we were walking. I was walking the dog, and there was a, another woman walking the dog. There's rarely anybody out in the countryside where I walk who had a dog and a cat with her. And my dog took off after the cat would not listen to me. So I'm screaming at the dog and trying to get control of the dog. And uh, meanwhile, she's talking in French in a very kind way. And, and I keep saying, "Je ne comprends pas, je ne comprends pas." You know, parlez-vous anglais, uh, which is "Do you speak English?" The other phrase I know. Um, um, and I was reflecting a bit after this incident. We got the dogs and the cat sorted out and it was all good. And um, we had a little friendly exchange, although I have no idea what was said. <laughs> so um, I was reflecting on that a bit. And it was funny, I was going to write on something else today on the blog, but I just decided this was more important. And as I was thinking about this, I don't understand you. I was trying desperately to make sure she understood. I don't, you know, stop. I don't understand what you're saying. Let me just, let's get control of our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to communicate all that and and I was thinking about how similar that is to certain circumstances in our lives and at least for me I know there are so many situations in particular for me that have to do with other people where I'm like I do not understand you and all I want to do is stand in front of that person and say I do not understand you. I don't understand what is what your experience is here. Either you know, sometimes when, of course, when it is um, the two of us have been in some experience together. But even sometimes when I'm just observing and I see either the pain that somebody's experiencing, or uh, sometimes even you know, like the way that they're choosing to go through their lives, and I want to know more. You know, I'm curious. So that curiosity and then the frustration, of course, can really begin to weigh on us and we feel like we're just, you know, repeating the same things over and over and over again. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Or in, in, in my case, and I'm sure that you've had experiences like this, there are some, um, some situations where I'm not a part of the conversation. I have been... Um, excised from that conversation, either, you know, by a group or perhaps by another individual, um, you know, at, at some point in, in our journeys that happens, right? And so <clears throat> I was thinking, oh, what's, what's the option? So after the little incident was over, back to the story, I was thinking, what are the opportunities here? You know, so uh, this happened and, and what can I do? And, and, you know, I came back to the practice that has been the only thing I know to do in situations like that, which is to send love and light and to absolutely return to um, a place of, you know, self-acceptance uh, and self-love and uh, self-forgiveness where that is necessary and you know because it, it can be quite uh, it can throw us off center right especially if in uh, any particular given uh, relationship or situation where we feel like you know well, we're confused and you know and did I do something here that was that somehow <laughs> set this chain of events off because um, you know th there are times in my, in the past for sure when I have been unaware if that was the case sorry about the Sun <laughs> um, and uh, so I just wanted to give us the opportunity today to reflect a bit on um, you know what can we do in these situations that where we don't know what to do um, and and the best that I know to do is to return to this I am light I celebrate the play of light I am and walk forward I am life and I celebrate the story of life I am and walk forward I am love and I celebrate the revolution of love I am and walk on. So that has been today's blog. Hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity for those of you who may have missed my email just to let you know that I'm changing things up a bit and how I deliver content. I will be doing a daily email series um, for my email list and that uh, list is going to be focused on the play of light in 2016 beginning uh, today March 23rd day of the lunar eclipse and I think it's a full moon. Uh, it was beautiful here last night. I'll try to post a picture of the moon. Um, and so I'll be doing this daily email series. You can definitely opt out if you are on my mail li mailing list. Please self-select your preferences and you can do that right from the email. Any email I send will have that option. I'll be eventually starting a weekly, um, a, a weekly uh, transformation tool 
I don't know. That'll probably have to wait until I'm back, um, back from France and then um, be doing, continuing to send the monthly um, updates to you all uh, from Soul Streams to let you know what's new there and what I'm writing, um, the books and everything. So I hope that uh, you have a fabulous day. And what I'd love for you to do today is just to reflect on um, those situations where, where you're left saying, I don't understand. I don't understand you. What is going on here? <laughs> and, and take one of those situations today and just give yourself a moment to sit somewhere really, really peaceful and quiet and simply say, put your hand on your heart and say, I am light and I celebrate the light I am, and the play of light I am. I am love. I celebrate the revolution of love I am. I am life and I celebrate the story of life I am and the story of life I bring to this reality. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. One more week in France and maybe one more video. Lots of love. Bye.